Welcome to Cripple Fix It. Today I've going to um, change the chuck on my drill because at long last it's arrived. Bit of a saga on that. It had arrived about a week ago according to the delivery company and they took a picture of it good for the tracking. It was on the doorstep and you could see it was the door, the right door. But it disappeared. <coughs> no one no one knew where it was after that. So well you you can come to two conclusions. Either the bloke put it on the doorstep, took a picture of it and then nicked it or someone came to the door after that and nicked it. But either way, he didn't ring the doorbell because people were in the house. So, I don't know. So, I bought another one to save time because they have to get compensation from the um, delivery company and then, then they can send me out another one. It wasn't, obviously, it wasn't the company sending it out because there was a picture of it on the doorstep. So it was just one of them mysterious things that will never get answered. But anyway, it turned up at a totally different time in the day. It was the last deliveries have been happening at after five o'clock. Um, so that was the first saga. Now what I'm going to do today is we're going to be dangerous. The only reason I know it's dangerous is because last time I did this kind of thing, I put a chisel into my hand um, and it was a bad one. Pumper, blood pump squirting out. Because like, like a pilcher, it was at night and I was working on a door of my um, house, the airing cupboard door. And I was chiselling away on the door with it on my lap. So I think it's quite fortunate in the way that my hand got in the way and it didn't go into my leg and hit a major artery. All it did was hit a major artery in my hand and was squaring out blood like this. So I did what every sensible DIY I would do. I went to the bathroom, held it together with my hands for two or three minutes. Thought that'll do. Let go of it. <laughs> squirted everywhere again. It looked like someone had been murdered in my bathroom. Um, so I then uh, went to the first aid kit and sort of closed it up with a plaster. And then uh, in the morning, I realised that it probably wasn't going to be the um, solution. And then I had to go to the hospital and then they sent me to a plastic surgeon at the hospital and he, he caused me more pain actually than the chisel gun him because he opened it up and squirted water in Bits of wood came out of it. So I suppose that bit of it was good because those bits of wood would have gone rotten in the end. Once he'd finished squirting it out, he then stitched it up. And now it's a beautiful little scar on my hand. But so I'm going to try and avoid that today. But you can't, you know. But I'm still going to do it on my lap. If I can. I've never changed a truck on a drill. But I've done a little bit of research. Here's the drill. And it's got a quick release chuck. Which is. Ruined. You shouldn't do that. 
It just doesn't it doesn't tighten up or anything. So after a bit of research, there's a screw, and I don't know if you're ever gonna see this. Yeah, you can just. A screw down the end of the chuck. That screw is a reverse thread. And what I mean by that is, if you don't know, that it does undoes by going clockwise and does up by going anti-clockwise. Right. So what I'm going to do, like every sensible person will do, is get it on my lap with a screwdriver, flathead, and see if it undoes. I think these are put in with lock tight, or thread lock, or whatever you want to call it. Get it in there and, and go as if you're doing it up. Not the best screwdriver in the world, this. Oh, right, let's have another go. I could take out the testicle now. <laughs> okay. That would be a whole different scenario. Or ball game. <laughs> oh, crap. If someone was lying about it being a reverse thread, I'm just tightening it up really tight now. I'm sure it is. I had it in my mind that it was before I researched it, which is why I did research it. Not too many plan B's here because if you really muller the screw, how are you going to um, drill it out? Because you need a drill for that, and that's what I'm trying to fix. See, now, what I haven't done is what I'm sure every other sensible YouTuber would have done when they're doing an intro, is loosening it first. So you think, oh, and you go, oh, crack. Well, I haven't done that, which could be a mistake. So you're now seeing it live and dangerous.
I would recommend you use a, a bench and a vice. Steal the drill in the vice and get a really good purchase. But then it's no fun, there's no danger involved. I think I may have to look for a better screwdriver. I'll give it another couple of goes. And then I'll turn the video off, but come back with another screwdriver so you can see me struggling like hell. If you, uh, I know what you'll see in other videos. You'll see what you do is you just crack it open. Done. You won't see that here because I don't lie. What you'll see is a man on the edge. Crap in hell. Who did that up? Right. Let me get another tool, because this screwdriver has a thingy, there, hexagon, there. So I may be able to get a pair of um, grips on that. You need to think this may not be the best idea. Give it another quick go with this. I've got a different screwdriver here.
Okay. To the other screwdriver. I think we're going to have a failure here. I don't think this is going to work. My left hand does all sorts of flaming things. <sighs> Drills are the worst things to hold. They're not the right shape. I can see me taking a nipple out with this. Next video may well be me in a and &E hospital. Getting a nipple put back on or a testicle or something. And they'll say to me, ha ah, ha. How exactly did you have your accident? Well, a tool broke on me. Oh. Right. I'm going to need to have a think about this. Because it's not happening. So I think I need to pause the video, have a think, and I'll come back to you when I have a plan. Right, 
right, welcome back. I'm not doing very well. In fact, I'm bleeding now. Only a little bit, luckily. And I haven't removed any body parts. But I've come to the conclusion that you can't change your drill chuck on your lap in a car. Um, the screw now has had it down the end. It don't look that bad, but I can't get any purges on it. I don't have an um, impact wrench. So I think what I'm going to do is take the chuck apart, which is how I started to bleed, because I put the little screwdriver to remove this uh, clip into my hand. Because, as you know, with sir clips, they're the most dangerous things you can deal with. But I think if I take it apart, I can then get an angle grinder and cut it all off. I mean, it's turning into... So any of those tutorials you may see online, where they just go, poop, poop, oh, take that one off, pop it, put your new one on, they're a load of bloody rubbish. It's not that easy. Not that easy at all. I was hoping I might be able to at least show you me getting this off, but I don't think I can. I mean, it's going to end up a bloody nightmare now. It may be worth buying a new drill if you have uh, truck problems because the screws that they put these on with don't appear to ever want to come off. But I haven't got an angle grinder with me either. So either way, I'm going to have to um, end this saga Go and find a plaster. I mean, it's just, it's just not working. A slotted screw down there is pointless. They should have put a Allen key or a Torx head, something. I mean, why they, what, why, I don't know why. Why did I start this on my lap? The only good thing I can say is I haven't at the moment ruined the drill any more than it was. I mean, I'm not getting any purchase on that at all now. Oh, no. I've got to give up. you got to know when to give up. And I should have given up about 15 minutes ago. So... I will hopefully show you the rest of the video of me angle grinding this off. And put, let me show you, I can show you the new one. Here's the new one. Which doesn't appear to be as good quality as the one coming off, but it's not actually coming off, is it? So, there I'm going to have to leave it until I can get some heavy duty equipment on here. I mean, I've got a I've got an impact range, but like I say, not here. But it's just, why, why do they do it? That, putting a normal screw, which I'm hoping you can see, down there. Down on a drill like that is pointless. 
I mean, I suppose they want you to buy a new drill, don't they? And to be fair, it's probably a good idea. But like I said before, I'm a stubborn idiot. There's nothing worse than a stubborn idiot. Because they'll keep going until the whole thing's ruined. Then I'll say, well, I've got to buy a new drill. So I'll say um, cheerio for now. And I'll add to this video, hopefully, with some sparks flying. I can't think of another way of getting that off. In, an evening impact wrench. One I had wouldn't have had a bit that went down there anyway. So I'm a little bit at a loss. Well, other than cutting everything away, that's all I can think of. Right, cheerio. Right, well, I'm back for a bit of an update. Not a positive one, but I'm going to do another video of me doing this part. Just because I think it's going to take too long. And if you've ever wondered what's inside your... I managed to get the fur clip off. This little bit, yeah. With no further injuries. And then this bit slides off. This bit. And then underneath you got this. If you ever wonder what was inside your chuck. Little little bearing thing there. And then these slidey things, which are the teeth of the chuck. They come out. It's got um, So that's where it threads. Well, my plan is, because I do have a plan now at least, once this slot's out of the way, so you've got three of those obviously for your chuck, and then I'm just left with the bare bones, and there's the screw down the middle, oh. as you can see it's slightly muddled. My plan is to get an angle grinder and cut about, well, I can see exactly where to cut, actually. Somewhere about here. Cut that bit straight off. And then exposing the screw, I can then do all manner of things then I can hit it with a hammer to round the wrong way so well this this is a reverse screw apparently like that I could grind the head off and um, try and get some sort of screwdriver on it Not sure what I'll do once I've angle ground that off yet. We'll see. Anyway, I thought I'd update you so you can see what your chuck looks like when it's taken apart. In case you ever have to do this saga. Well, I'll let you know, well, I'll show you how it goes. But it'll be a separate video, a part two, which will hopefully be in a couple of days if I can get hold of my angle grinder. Cheerio.